Rising prospect Virgil Ortiz Jr. looks to stay unbeaten on Saturday, facing former 140-pound titleist Maurice Hooker in a welterweight main event. This is a real fight, this is a tough fight, both guys uh, are putting everything on the line. At just 22, with as many knockouts as he has had pro fights, unbeaten prospect Ortiz Jr. very much looks like he could be the next big thing in the welterweight division. I only want to fight the best, that's, that's the only way you can be the best. This hooker fight is one that Ortiz Jr. has been mapping out for a couple of years now, and it's finally coming to fruition. 31-year-old suffered his long pro defeat in a thrilling 2019 junior welterweight unification fight against Jose Ramirez in which both fighters traded damage before Hooker ultimately succumbed to the stoppage defeat in a fight of the year contender. Go in the ring and do my best and have fun with it. Can Ortiz keep it rolling as he moves toward the possible title fight with Terence Bud Crawford in the next year or so, or will Hooker send him back to the drawing board? Five feet ten Orthodox Virgil Ortiz is a knockout specialist. He has attained all 16 wins of his pro career via stoppage, and that is something worth hailing. He has immense power and pace that turns him treacherous. Meanwhile, his reach also comes in handy to shoot from close. Ortiz Jr. will have a lot of armor on his side, but he hasn't faced anyone of Hooker's ability. Ortiz's best opponents so far have been fighters like Mauricio Herrera, Samuel Vargas and Antonio Orozco, solid but not spectacular boxers. Hooker lost in spectacular fashion to Jose Ramirez in an attempt to unify two of the 140-pound belts. Hooker's best wins have been over Flanagan and Sosedo, but also has victories over the likes of Santos Benavides, Ty Barnett and Cristobal Cruz. He also won the WBO and ABO Super Lightweight title as a pro and defended it four times. Although Hooker has decent power and a good chin, he had gone the distance five of six fights before running into Ramirez. Hooker stands 5 feet 11 tall and has a reach of 80 inches which puts him at an inch taller than Ortiz while owning a huge 10 inch reach advantage. He's got fine boxing skills and is somewhat underrated when it comes to both his power and his slick skills. However, he was stopped in his tracks by Ramirez and is now facing somebody with a 100% knockout ratio so it's not going to be easy for him. Although the betting gods favor Ortiz in a surprisingly large manner given his youth, hunger and well-rounded game, we have yet to see the young prospect in a true fire fight against a comparable puncher. Hooker very much has the potential to be that kind of kryptonite, which makes him an interesting live dog. What should separate the two fighters at the end of the day, however, is that Ortiz simply hasn't shown a major flow up to this point and should be able to hold the advantage from a boxing standpoint in order to better set up his fight ending power. Look for Ortiz to target the body early in hopes of weakening Hooker. As long as Ortiz can remain responsible from a defensive standpoint, Hooker may have a hard time getting inside Ortiz's jab in an effort to test the 22-year-old's chin. Knowing how much a stoppage win over a fighter with Hooker's reputation would mean toward his critical standing along with Hooker's pension from getting into slugfests, this fight has all the making to be Ortiz's true coming out moment. Virgil Ortiz has WBO welterweight champion Terence Crawford in his sights as his primary target for his next fight should he get past Hooker. Ortiz believes that a fight between Crawford and himself can easily be made. 
Virgil feels he is ready to fight the 33-year-old Crawford now and he is confident that he'll beat him. Crawford is running out of opponents now and it's not looking good for him as far as his dream of fighting Manny Pacquiao. Can Ortiz keep it rolling as he moves toward the possible title fight with Terence Bud Crawford in the next year or so or will Hooker send him back to the drawing board?